Welcome to this walkthrough virtual tour of this unique seven bedroom detached property located on Stowe Park Circle. So starting off just outside the front of the property, I'll just give you a quick pan of the surrounding location. So you do have plenty of street parking out to the front. I will mention you do also have two entrances onto the driveway, so an in and out, and you've also got gated access here on the left hand side, which provides further off-road parking down the side of the house. Do have a front garden here of a hedge and mature plants. I'm gonna make our way now into the property first. I will just mention the coat of arms here above the door. You do have some lovely traditional features on the outside of the stone building. And we'll head in now through the front door into a porch area. So in here you do have the original tiled flooring. To our right hand side you do have the stairs down to the cellar which I will show you shortly. And we come into the main entrance hallway. So from here you do have access to all the downstairs rooms and then on the right hand side you do have the stairs to the first and second floor. So the whole property does have all the traditional features. You've got high ceilings throughout and sash windows, lovely coving as well as your ceiling roses. You do have oak panelling in here which has been painted and you do have a lovely feature staircase with that is engraved. The flooring in here is um, Versailles parquet flooring and it does flow through into the drawing room. The drawing room is accessed via double doors. It's a lovely space. As you can see you've got the oak panelling all around, your sash windows which overlooks the driveway. In here you do have a real working fire and on both sides of the fireplace, you do have a porthole behind here. You've also got the original bell to call your servants. And the same on this side. And this lovely fireplace here. Got plenty of space in this room for entertaining your guests. And you do have your door that takes you out onto a patio area, ideal for barbecuing. We'll head out there shortly. Next, we come into the dining room and you can have wooden flooring in here. Do you have lovely pitch rails all around? Lovely coving on the ceiling and ceiling rows. As you can see, there's plenty of space for a large dining table and chairs. This room benefits from a large bay window with your views into the rear garden. You also have a feature fireplace. could potentially be used as a sitting room if you didn't want it to be your dining space. So this door also takes you into the sitting room. Again, lovely size. Show you the ceiling in here as well with your ceiling rows and your coving. Do you have feature fireplace in here. Do have a door that takes you out into the rear garden and you also have a bay window. The BBC programme Wizards and Aliens was filmed in this room. It's a bit of fact for you. And it opens up nicely into the kitchen. So the kitchen is big enough to have a breakfast table and chairs. Got plenty of wall and floor storage space. Got your oven and grill here. Integrated fridge. Do you have your gas hob and extractor above? Sink and drainer 
Space 4 freestanding washing machine. And then you do have a lovely Arga here as well. Large window as well, letting in plenty of light. From here then, you go into the utility room. This was originally the servants' quarters. So the living, utility room is a good size. Could potentially um, change this back to a separate um, part of the property. So it is ideal for multi-generation living as well. But in the utility room, as it is, you've got plenty of storage to also have a separate side access. Lovely space. We'll just take you out into the rear garden now. So behind the door here is your coal shed. In here as well, you also have a toilet and a storage area. This could did originally have a staircase going upstairs, so could easily be put back into a staircase going to the bedroom upstairs. Come out into the garden, you've got this lovely patio area. It is a real sun trap. Do have a decked area here to enjoy the sun. Do have a seating area here which is accessed from the drawing room and for your barbecue and you do have your double gates there that takes you back out to the front and you've got your drive all the way down to the bottom. Plenty of mature trees, plants, flowers, it's a lovely garden. You have this large flat lawn. Here at the rear of the garden, this building here, that is the original coach house and stables. It's a lovely addition, does need um, a new roof and uh, modernization. Could potentially be used as a games room or workshop. You do also have space at the bottom here for an allotment and greenhouse also got a sitting area here as well. It's a lovely sized garden for this property. It's well maintained. Mature plants here as well on the left hand side. Do also have this sunroom here. It's currently being used as storage, but could be ideal for a gym. And like I said, this part of the property could easily be separated off into a separate dwelling. So if you wanted your parents, grandparents, to, or even teenager to have a separate part of the property that could easily be done. Before we head upstairs, I'll just show you the downstairs toilet and also the cellar. So you do have this WC down here, tile flooring on walls, got your WC and then your hand basin with built-in vanity nets. take you down into the cellar now. So you do have steps down. So this is the original cellar. You've got the original tiles and flooring. Do you have some storage here on the left? And then this was the original wine cellar. So you've got your shelves in here. You also have your boiler, currently being used as storage. Just open the door and then it takes us into the where you've got your water tank. Ideal for drying your clothes in here, it's quite a hot room. 
and then it leads into another storage area in here as well. Plenty of potential with these three rooms down here. So we'll make our way upstairs now and I'll show you the first floor which has the first five double bedrooms. Do you have a large window on the stairwell which lets in plenty of natural light. So from the landing you do have access to all the bedrooms and the family bathroom. We'll start off on this side of the property first. So you do have this corridor here, do you have your pitch rails and coving. So this is the master bedroom through an archway you come into your bedroom area. Lovely size room. So you do have your pitch rail and coving. Large window with your sash windows overlooking the garden and here you do have a real working fireplace and you've got your wooden floors it's a lovely large double room very light and airy in here and then we come into the dressing room you do have walls of mirrored wardrobes in here and then it leads into your ensuite bathroom. You've got plenty of storage, You've got your bath with shower head attachment as well as shower overhead. So that is the master suite. We then come to bedroom two. This is a spacious double room. Do have the benefit of a sink in here. Again you have the high ceilings, feature fireplace, large bay window that lets in plenty of light. Lovely sash windows as well. Bedroom three, similar size to the bedroom we were just in. Lovely double room, plenty of space for your wardrobes. Do have large bay window as well. So plenty of light coming into the space. We'll mention as well, you do have access through to the family bathroom, should you wish to use it as an ensuite. And that is the room we'll head into next. So your family bathroom in here. sink, WC, and then your corner jacuzzi bath. And then this is the part that used to be the original servants quarters. So this room is, is used as a study, but could easily be changed back into a bedroom. Do have your built-in cupboard space here and desk. And window there overlooking the front. So the property does have all the original doors as well in here. And then the last bedroom to show you on this floor. Here's a double room. Lovely outlook from the windows. Actually have windows on all three sides. So this is where the stairs would have gone down to the utility room, but it's currently an ensuite. So you've got your sink and then a shower. So it could be very easily transformed back into the staircase. 
for multi-generation living. Make our way up to the final floor. So up here you have a further two bedrooms. See, they could be used as playrooms, office, craft room. So this is the smallest bedroom. Do you have a beam in here, window there, and then some built-in storage. Then we come into another large double room. Lovely and light, plenty of space for a double bed and all your bedroom furniture. Two windows, so plenty of light comes into the space as well. You have your outlook over the front and also the side. So just off the landing as well, you do have a door here into the loft and there is a big space on either side that you could convert as well. It's currently being used as storage. And you have a nice view as well down the stairs. So that completes this video tour of this seven bedroom property located on Stowe Park Circle. If this property does interest you, please don't hesitate in contacting the team and we'll be more than happy to show you around.